I've also rediscovered my Fitbit, which is really exciting. Okay, let's come to a comfortable seated position. Place your hands on your knees. Close your eyes. And just be. Notice how you're breathing this morning. Without trying to manipulate, without judging, without trying to wrap a story around why you're breathing the way you're breathing or a memory or emotion, just notice the breath. Now I'm breathing in. Now I'm breathing out. Oh, now I'm breathing in a bit more. Oh, I'm breathing out. Just as simply as that. Now bring the same awareness to your feet. We start this morning with a body scan. How does the left foot feel, the right foot, the ankles? How do the lower legs feel, the knees? And if your hands are facing down on your knees, maybe give your knees a bit of a morning squeeze to say, hey guys, I got you. Bring this awareness to the inside of your thighs. Do they feel tight? Do they feel loose? The top of your thighs, your quads. The back of your thighs, the hamstrings. And the outside, the IT band. And then draw all four sides up and notice how your hips feel. How does the left feel compared to the right? And if the mind immediately starts to go, oh no, this one's really, really stuck and this one feels like this and da 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 Catch yourself. We don't wrap our stories around our thoughts. Just notice our thoughts. Bring this awareness now to your belly, the low belly, the left side, the right side, and then move your awareness to your kidneys. That's your lower back. See if you can breathe into your kidneys, what happens? Visualize. Notice how you've got a little bit more space and breathe out. Now breathe into your belly. And breathe out. Bring the awareness to your rib cage. Breathe laterally, so into the left side, into the right side. Make yourself wide. And breathe out. Bring your awareness now to the place just below your heart, your sternum, and try to lift that up and out. Spread your ribcage up and out. Mm, out we go. Bring the awareness to your shoulder blades and lift those up and out when you breathe in. And relax. Now breathe into your collarbones. Bring 
Bring your awareness now all the way down the left arm, all the way down the right arm, all the way down to the hands, like a flowing feeling of awareness, all the way to the fingertips. Oh, someone having a busy morning with us if you had that fire alarm. And now let's see if we can breathe it all the way to the base of the spine. Out through your mouth this time. Notice how uncomplicated we can make things. We can just see things, do things for how they are, what they are. And if we can do that just in two minutes, imagine how much less complicated we can make the rest of our lives. And let's try to make that our focus for today, our intention. The intention today just to simplify, to allow things to be uncomplicated in a complicated time. People always ask, what is really the, the secret to life? And the secret to life, it's like the secret to anything. It's so simple, it's almost a paradox. It is so simple that it is really complicated. We just live a life with gratitude, with compassion. When we live with these two values, gratitude and compassion, they are the backbone for everything else. So let's try to focus on these two, these uncomplicated, very simple emotions. We know how to feel thankful. We know what compassion is. And let all the other stories just fade away. Take one more big breath in, lift your hands out to the side, meet your hands at the top. As you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart and then open your eyes. Nice. Okay, let's come off whatever we're sitting on. And then we start today in vier Fusselstand. So that is in a tabletop position. Ooh, which way round do I want to be able to be this way round? Change my mind. Have your hands evenly so that the middle fingers point forwards and the thumbs are parallel to each other. Spread the fingers a lot. Have your knees and your hips vertical and the knees are just hip wide. The shins also parallel to each other and try to press the top of the ankles towards the floor. Depends on your ankle flexibility, but if we don't try, they never get more flexible. Pull the belly up and in. Great. And try to pull the neck forwards as though you could do a headstand uh, on the wall in front of you. And then let's tuck the toes, breathe and come into your cow pose like a wave. Feel each vertebrae lifting, opening, collarbones lift, eyes up. And then breathe out, tuck the tailbone, make a wave as you come into cat. Pull the belly in, protract the shoulders and look between the legs. Breathe and start from the tailbone. Roll yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae into your cow pose. Flare the sit bones. And then breathe out again. Start from the tailbone, curl under. Think of each muscle, each cell working together. Push your hands into the mat. Cat. Two more times here. Breathe and come into your cow. Your jelly breath and really nice breath. And then breathe out, cat. Last time, breathing cow. Focus on making this movement really nice and smooth. Cat, breathe out. Come to a flat back, breathe in. And then breathe out. We bring the left leg long all the way back. Look over one shoulder, it doesn't matter which one. Congratulate yourself on how straight that leg is, how parallel it is to the floor, and how all five toes point to the floor. And pull the belly in so you're not just collapsing. And then push into the left hand, breathe, and right hand reaches forwards. Pull the hand and the foot away from each other, stretch. And then breathe out, point that toe, bring the knee into the chest, and then bring the elbow in towards the knee. Breathe in, flex your foot and get long. Look down, not forward. Breathe out, crunch in. Keep pushing into that left hand. One more time, breathe in, we get long. 
And then breathe out, let's crunch in. Breathe in, get long. And then breathe that right hand down and left knee down. Breathe and come into your cow pose, coming up. And then breathe that flat back. Flat back means you need to engage your core muscles to keep that back flat, we don't sag. Okay, other side, breathe in. Let's bring that right leg all the way back. You look over the shoulder and say, oh yes, buddy, you're doing what I want. And then we turn to look forward. Breathe in, left arm reaches forward. Left arm by the left ear. Reach your hand forward, push the foot backwards. How long can you get? As you breathe out, point the toe, bring the right knee into the chest, and then the elbow in towards the knee. How round can you get? Breathe in, how long can you get? Breathe out, get small around knee into the chest and the heel into the glutes. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out, and in. Breathe in, we get long. And then breathe out, hand and knee come down. All right, core is switched on. Breathe in, one more time, let's come into that cow pose. And then breathe out, come to a flat back. Okay, now keep the toes tucked and bring yourself all the way back, almost like child pose. Walk your hands forwards a little bit more, come onto those fingertips. And then imagine you are a cat that is just pouring the floor. So you're trying to reach the front of the mat but keep your glutes, your hips, on your feet. You're reaching as far forwards. You can be a really dramatic cat. You can just be a little one. Trying to get as far forwards as we can. And then keep those feet, oh, yes, I clicked. Keep those fingertips on the floor. Big breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're walking the hands all the way over to your left. Stretch into the right side body, right arm by the right ear, use your breath. And then breathe out, walk your hands all the way over to the right side. Stretch into that left side body, left arm by left ear. Breathe out, we just bring the hands all the way back onto the floor. And then like a cat, roll into what is almost your tabletop position. But your hips are a little further forwards. Roll over the right turns, roll over the left turns, and you are back in your tabletop. It's magic, I know. Okay, I'm just going to recenter myself, you don't need to. And now let's breathe in, and again, we're going to bring the left leg back, the right arm forward, stretch everything forwards and back, and then bend your left knee like swimming, turn your right thumb down, and then bring your right hand back. Capture the left foot. Keep the foot into the hands, the hand into the foot. You're trying to lift that leg as high as you can to the sky. Look forwards. Keep the toe untucked. But if you're having a trouble with balancing this morning, you can tuck the back toes. Squeeze the shoulder base together. Chin parallel to the floor. One more big breath in here. Keep the leg where it is. Bring your right hand like swimming up, forward, and then back to the floor. Flex the left foot, lift the heel higher, big breath in as we breathe out knee to the right elbow. Zoom. And then into the chest. Breathe in as it comes over to the left elbow and then we open up, stack the hips, look over the right shoulder and find your foot. We do that two more times. Big breath in, lift the knee up. Big breath out, bring it over to the right elbow, the chest, over to the left elbow, breathe it, open it up, say hello hips and hello foot when you look over. And then breathe up, right elbow, chest, left elbow, breathe in, lift it all the way up. Stay there, look at the foot, challenge your brain, do some circles with that ankle. Whee! Reverse. Great. And then let's see if you can flex the foot, lift it up even higher. Hi, 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 hi. And then breathe out, we bring the knee down. Yes. One more breath in. And then breathe out, we go the other way. So now it's the right leg going back, the left arm going forward. Stretch everything forwards and back. Yes. 
and then bend your left knee, left thumb points down, and swim that left hand back until you find the foot. I promise it's there somewhere. When you have a good grip on it, keep the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot. Try to look forwards, not down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Feel the heart lift and open. Keep the foot into the hand more to lift everything up. Stay that breath in. Make sure your right ear is away from the right shoulder. Ah, oh, nice. Feels super good. And then keep the foot there. Left arm reaches up, and forwards. Breathe out as that hand reaches the floor. Cool. Okay, from here, we flex the left foot, lift the left heel up. Oh, sorry, the right heel, my bad, all the way up. And then breathe that right knee to left elbow. Zoom. And then to the chest, and then to the right elbow. Breathe it open, up, stack the hips, loop over the left shoulder. And then breathe out two more times. Right elbow, chest, left elbow. So left, right, right elbow, and then up and over. That'll be left and right today. And then one more time. Breathe that, bring it over to the left elbow. Then to the chest, then to the right elbow, and then open yourself up. Look over the left shoulder, say, hello, ankle. Coordination challenge. Try to look and do some circles with that ankle. Reverse. Ooh I found it super challenging. This bird is not really doing anything like a circle. <laughs> Let's lift one more time. Up, 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 up. Say hello to the hips. Breath in. And then breath out. Knee down. Whew. Tuck the toes. Sit back on the heels. Bring your hands all the way up and reach. And then breathe out, bring the hands to heart. Interlace the fingers, and we just start to do some really nice circles with the wrists. It should feel super good. We spent quite a lot of time on our wrists. You can make little waves. If you go one way, please go the other way. We do this also to distract from how much of a stretch the toes are getting. I know this should feel like they're getting a big stretch. Just gonna wee, turn it up the way. Great. Let's come again onto the knees. Breathe in, reach the arms up, 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 up. And then keep your arms by your ears. And instead of trying to lean back, just try to bring your upper body parallel to the floor. Switch on the glutes, the core, and open the shoulders. Whoa, it's so hard. You will naturally lean back a bit, that's okay. But the idea is to reach forward. Stay there for three. Two, one, and the hands come all the way down. Find your first downward facing dog. Look at your feet, check that they are hip wide, and then just start to bend one knee and then the other here. Pushing into the hands, release any tension from the neck. Feel all the creaks and the cracks from the upper body. That's okay, it's the morning. We all have it. Now I always feel that the first time it feels like such a release, like everything's starting to move again. Mm. And again, remember how we don't need to put stories into the thought. So the body is just as the body is today. So we don't need to wrap those stories of, oh, I feel so stiff, or maybe it's because of this and this, or I remember when I wasn't stiff, or blah, blah, whatever it is. A thought is just a thought. Your body is just your body. Again, everybody, high onto the tiptoes, breath in. Lift the sit bones as high as you can. Push your hands into the floor. And then breath out, lower the heels. Two more times. Breath in, lift up high. Ooh, I'm slipping on my mat. And then breathe out, lower the heels. Last time, breathe in, come up high. Pull the belly in. And then breathe out, lower the heels. Good. And then one more time, come up high and just start to tiptoe yourself forward all the way to the front of your mat. You can hold your elbows or just allow your arms to be loose. Either way, your neck is super relaxed and we just start to sway a little over one way and the other way. Mm. Allow the low body to get even more open. And then bring the hands to the floor, or keep holding the elbows, where I want you centered. And then imagine you are in a mosh pit, but a mosh pit that is underwater. So a little bit of crazy head banging, but underwater head banging, so not that fast. 
This way, we start to get into this whole superficial back leg. All those muscles by the shoulders, the nerves, the sciatic nerve. Everything's connected. Okay, let's stop there. Breathe in, bring your hands to your shins and find a halfway lift. So you want your head to be above the heart. You want a flat a back as you did in tabletop. So pull that belly in, flare the sit bones up and out and imagine you can do a headstand for me on my little railing. <laughs> okay, stay there. On your next breath in, soften the knees and then stand all the way up. Bring your hands all the way up. Reach up and then breathe out. We bring your hands to heart. Let's get moving. A little bend to the knees. Breathe in, bring your hands up. Over asana, and then breathe that swan down. We come forward and down. Halfway lift breath in, hands to floor, hands to shins, you choose. Breathe out, we bring the hands down and then bring your right foot all the way back. Your back knee to the floor. Keep the toes tucked if you want. Breathe in, we reach your arms all the way up. Up, so bring, breathe out. Bring your hands all the way back and then to the floor. Ada Hanuman, breathe and start to lift the hips up and back, straighten the front leg, lift your left toes off the floor, and then breathe out, we go forwards. Breathe and bring your arms all the way up, out, back, and to the floor, stay. Next breath in, reach your hips back. Ada Hanuman, look forwards, and then breathe out, we come down. One more time, breathe and reach your arms all the way up, out and then to the floor and then breathe in Ada Hanuman stick the bum out as much as you can breathe out bring the left foot down breathe in one more time reach your arms up and then breathe out your left hand holds the right wrist and we lean over towards the left pull the belly in like I'm coming to tickle you reach your right um, all the way over, left hand is pulling the right and trying to look up and say, oh, that's so much harder to balance, I know. Breathe in, come up, look up, release the hands, and then breathe out. This time, bring the hands forwards, stretch. Stay that breath in, belly off your left thigh, and now left hand, or both hands, sorry, to the floor. Lift your back knee up, breath in, downward dog, breath out. Have a look at the feet and say, oh yes, they're hip wide, great. Pushing the hands and the feet firmly into the floor. Now focus on your legs and try to push your legs backwards. This energizes you a lot more. Okay, high onto the tiptoes, roll vertebrae by vertebrae into your plank pose. When you, when we back, when you get there, you bring your heels backwards, your belly in, squeeze the legs, hands into the floor, dome your upper back, look forwards, and then breathe out, knees, chest, and chin. Slide yourself forwards and up, baby cobra. Baby cobras only get the front part of their bodies off the floor, but they love, if they had elbows, to have them going all the way back. One breath in here, lift the hands, lift the feet, and then breathe out, lower everything down. Roll the shoulders up to the ears and away, breath in. Tuck toes, bring your seat to your heels, that's hips to heels. Active child's pose, keep breathing out, downward facing dog. Yeah, adjust the feet if you need, keep pushing into the hands. Check that your hands aren't bunching up, that the fingers are really spread and pushing into the floor. Now breathe in, right leg up. Breathe that right foot forwards in between the hands. Move your foot forwards if you need. We bring the back knee down. Breathe in, arms up. Out. Breathe out, hands onto the floor. Out of hand and stretch that right leg back. Breathe in, gaze forwards. Breathe out, bring the knee and the foot down. Reach arms up, breath in, reach arms out, keep breathing in, reach hands to floor, breathe out. Stretch back, out of hand, man. breath in, right toes are off the floor. Breath out, feet or foot on the floor. Arms up, breathe in, arms out, breathe in, arms to floor, breathe out. Breathe in, shift back, out of hand, man. try to lift the sit bones. 
Breathe out, return low left. Breathe in, and your knee reaching arms up, out, and to the floor, breathe out. Last time, harder. Breathe in, come back up. Breathe out, bring your hips forwards and down. Arms up, breathe in. Right hand holds left wrist. Breathe out, lean over to the right. Hollow the belly, scissor the legs together, energize, use your glutes, good. Pull the belly in, reach your left arm over, pull it more with the right, look up, woo, it's out of balance. And then breathe out, reach your arms forwards. Pull the belly off the front thigh, breath in. And then hands to floor, breath out. Lift the back knee, breath in, look forward, 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 breath out. Little bend to the knees, and then circle sweep, bring the hands all the way up. And then some of the hands to heart breath out. Cool. All right, I'm going to go a little faster. Bend the knees, breathe in, reach your arms up. Breathe out, forwards and down. Halfway lift, breath in. Breath out, hands down. Bring the left foot back this time. Left knee off the floor. Easy twist, breath in, right hand back, up and to the sky. Lift your left hip up as well, so the hips stay level. As you breathe out, less easy twist. Left hand hovers off the floor. Woo! Stay there, breath in, shoulder blades back, look up at the right thumb. Woo! Left hand down, right hand forward and then down. Three-legged dog, breathe in, right leg all the way up and back. Bend your knee, open the hip as you breathe out. Let's, it's the morning, so keep stretching the right side over. Oh, she feels super nice. And then straighten the leg again. Flex the foot and pull the outside of the foot higher to the sky. Lower the left heel towards the floor. Level the hips, so your hips stay level, the hips are closed. Look at the right foot. All the toes should point to the floor. Now lift the heel up higher, breath. In, good. And then breath out, bring the foot down. Adjust yourself in your downward dog. Push your hands into the floor. A little bend to the knees. Tilt the hips up. Good. You have to engage your lower abs here. And then again, hand to the tiptoe, straighten the legs and roll into your plank, looking forwards. How long can you get here? And then shift forwards. Bring the elbows in, either lower to the floor or to chaturanga. Up dog breath in, roll over the toes. Only hands and feet are on the floor and squeeze the shoulder blades back. And then again, roll back over the toes. Little bend to the knees, protect the low back. As you come into down dog. We adjust. Pushing the legs back, pushing the hands into the floor. Feel the rebound energy. The more you push into the floor, the more energy you're going to get rebounding into all of your muscles, your joints, yourself. <sighs> okay, breath in, left leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip, breath out. Almost turning inside out, but not. And then recenter yourself, close the hips. Lift up, breath in. And then flex the foot, lift the left leg up, 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 good. Breathe out, bring the left foot forward in between the hands. Nice. Check that you're still engaging that back leg. So squeeze the right glute, squeeze the right thigh. Try to lift your right hip up as much as the left. When we level the hips, we have more space in our transitions. Easy twist, left hand back up to the sky, squeeze the shoulder blades back, look at the left thumb. Remember that engagement with the right leg, that helps you to balance. Lift your right hand a little bit off the floor, less easy twist. Breath in here, breath out, hand to floor, left hand forward and then down, nice. Okay, look forward, breath in. And then breath out, forward fold, right foot forward, relax the leg, sure. Little bend to the knees, breathe in, come all the way up. And then hands to heart, breath out. Whew. One more here. Don't know why it's so dark today. Got all the lights on. Oh, well. Okay, so 
Now, if you want to jump back, you can, but please make sure you're landing with a bend in the elbows. Good. Little bend in the knees. Breathe in, reach your arms all the way up, but no banana back, so hollow the belly. Yes. Now breathe out, go forwards and down. Relax the neck here, pull the belly in. Find your halfway lift. How long can you get? Breathe out, hands down, step or jump back, front plank in Chaturanga or straight to Chaturanga. Breathe in for your upward dog. Breathe out for your downward dog. Nice, adjust the feet however you need. Breathe in and bring that right leg up to the sky. Breathe that right foot forwards. High lunge breath in. Yeah, made it. Breath out, left hand forwards, right hand back. Back hand, back leg, front hand sky, breath in. And then breath out. See if you can just walk your fingers back on your back leg a bit more. Pull the belly in, lift the heart, breath in. Wobbling is okay. And then breath out, come back to your twist. Sure. Breathe in, reach your arms up. Back knee down, cactus the arms, breath out. Breathe in, reach everything up and back, nice. And then breathe out, we bring our arms forward. Breathe in, let's lift the back knee. Breathe out, lift the belly off the thigh. Breathe and bring your hands back, breath in. And then hold your hands behind you, breath out. Straighten the arms, breath in. Left foot forward, next to the right, breath out, fold. Woo, yeah, loads of things going on at once. Bend into your left knee, hands over to the left, look over the right shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out, transition the other way. Switch the bend in the legs, and then breathe in over your left shoulder. Breathe out, little bend in both legs, look between the legs, allow the hands to come over the head. And then bring the hands to the floor. Bend your knees a lot, roll your spine, come all the way up. Sure. Hmm, little smile on the face. It feels good to move the body in the morning. And then we go to the other side. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, Uttanasana, come forwards and down. Out of Uttanasana, halfway lift. Breathe out, hands down, however you want, flow through your vinyasa. Reaching yourself up. You can also do cobra instead of down, uh, up dog. So we meet in down facing dog. As always, taking a moment to adjust. If your hamstrings are not open enough for your back to be long, that's okay. Just bend the knees enough so that tailbone can lift up to the sky. Pull the lower abs up and in. Beautiful. And then from there, you can try to straighten the legs and ground the heels. Breathe in, left leg up. Breathe out and left foot forwards. Take a moment to adjust so you know you're going to feel stable here. And then breathe in. We come breathe up again. Maybe she says balancing. Breathe out, we twist. Bring your right hand forward, the left hand back. We really squeeze your back leg. Back hand to the back leg, front hand to the sky, breathe in. And then walk your back hand down the back leg a little bit more. Breathe out, right arm, right ear. Breathe in, open up the heart space, look up. Wobbling is okay, it means you grow. Breathe out, come back to the twist. Breathe in, arms forward, and up. Breathe out, back knee down, cactus. Breathe in, reach up and back, open the heart space. Breathe out, reach your arms forward, and lift the back knee. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring your hands back. Lift your belly off that left thigh. One more breath in. Interlace your fingers the weird way. Straighten the arms and bring your back foot forwards. Breathe out, we fold. Whew. Yes, we made it. From here, a little bit of head banging. Gently, underwater head banging. If anyone has seen Trolls too. The techno trolls, the ones that live underwater, they are my spirit animal. So imagine you're there. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about. You're missing out. Watch the movie. It's great. Okay, release the hands either side of the floor. Bend your knees nice and slow so there's no head rush. Pull the belly in and gently roll your spine up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, we go super slow.
Pull the shoulders up to the ears, down and away. Yes. Good. From here now, place the weight onto your uh, left foot. Push it in. Oh, I'm going to stand back a bit because I don't have that much room. So push the weight into the left foot. And then keep both legs straight. In fact, I'll come this way for you to see the back be diagonal. And as you push in, you're lifting that right leg up. Now check it out, I don't want you to just be going like, hey, hey, hey. Really try to use your hip strength so that you stay upright. But all we're gonna do now is some really nice balance drills. So as you breathe in, the aim of the game is as much as possible to keep everything straight. Breathe in, bring that right leg up and forwards. Oh, hello. Breathe out, keep your upper back straight and just bring it back. Pull the belly in, I know. Two more times, breathe in, reach it up. Breathe out, bring it back. Breathe it up. Breathe out, bring it back. Okay, breathe in, we bring it up. Breathe out, I come this way. We bring it all the way back, bring your hands to your heart for worries. Stay there, breath in. Try to level the hips, breath out. Push your foot back, pull your head forwards, breath in. Push your left foot to the floor and the belly to the spine, breath out. One more breath in. Breath out, wee hands to the floor, standing splits. Stay there, breath in. And then as you breathe out, bring your knee into your chest. That's your right knee, obviously. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> Stay there. Breathe in. And then breathe out, bring that knee behind you and come all the way down and into a twist. Sitting down, you reach the hands up if you're not already in the twist. Breathe out, we bring that right elbow crease to the knee, the left arm up, back, and to the floor. Push your sit bones and the left hand into the floor, back in, make space in the spine. And then we breathe out into that twist. Ooh, creak, 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 crack, 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 work my back. Yes. Breathe and reach your arms all the way up. And then breathe out, bring the hands down. Untangle yourself with a little bunny hop. And we come back. Bend the knees, breathe and reach your arms all the way up. And then breathe out, hands to heart. You can always balance better on one side than the other. Let's see how this side goes. I say that because I know that my right side is not the good balance inside. Ooh, wish me luck. Okay, hands wherever you want them to be. Grind right into that right foot. Lift the left foot a little bit off the floor. Try not to collapse into that right hip. And then breathe in. We bring the left leg up as high as you can. Breathe out. Bring the left leg back. Try to stay upright. Yes. Breathe in. Come. Breathe out. Back we go. Ooh, she said, I can't look at myself. Breathe in. Come up. Breathe out, go back. Everything switched on and engaged. One more. And back. Great. From here, start to hinge forwards, hands to heart. Come into your warrior three. I just have to center myself on the mat. There we go. Hips level. Left foot pushing back. Top of the head pulling forwards. Lengthen your neck. Shoulder blades squeezing gently together. Push the right foot more into the floor, belly to spine. Try to move everything away from your midline. That's basically where your belly button is. Big breath in. Big breath out, hands to floor, standing splits, yay. Lift that left leg high, 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 high. And then breathe out, left knee into the chest, get small and round, yes. One more breath in. And then breath out, bring that knee behind your right. And we sit all the way down. So the knee comes to the outside of your right foot into the twist. Arms up, breath in. Left elbow hugs the right knee. Right hand goes behind you, breath out. Push your sit bones into the floor, breath in. And then look behind you, breath out, twist. <sighs> breathe in, come up. Breathe out, bring the hands down onto the mat. Popo, suhimo, bum to sky, and then undo your legs. And we come back. 
Good. Come into the squat position. And then bring your feet as wide as the mat. You can stay high up on the balls of the feet, fingers to the floor, and then just start to go a little bit one way and the other. Germans that really nice expression, hin und her. Here and there. Feel the lower back here. Coming even onto the outside of the feet if that feels good for you. Maybe high up onto one toe and the other. Without really thinking too much, just let your body guide you. Mm. Great. Now bring my hands to the floor. Well, I cut my hair off the other day, but it's still a bit too long. Should have tied it up. Hands to the floor, make sure they look like ultimate chaturanga hands. And now make your elbows look like ultimate chaturanga elbows. So that means the elbows aren't out, instead they're in line with your wrists and your shoulders. Now if this feels really difficult for your shoulders, that's okay. You can move your hands so that instead of the middle finger pointing forwards, your index, your pointer finger faces forwards instead. The further out the fingers are, the easier it is to keep your elbow in line. So pull them in, the inside of your elbows look to the front of the mat. And then lift the bum up to the sky again. Bring your feet into the middle of the mat so your big toes touch, come higher onto the tiptoes as high as you can. And then bring your knees into your armpits. Look at those elbows, if they're coming out, we like, no, no, no elbows, you go in today. Look forward and then you're really making a shelf for your knees. So you don't have a hug, you just have to have a shelf. Try lifting one foot, try lifting the other, come into your bapasana and your crocus. When you make more of a shelf, then that's where you can start to uh, straighten the legs, you can start to spiel a little bit more and it's the basis for all of the other arm balances. Let's do two more breaths. Laying around in your bakasana, reaching up, check how the elbows are in, pull the belly into the spine. Okay, however you want, vinyasa. Step back, or you can jump back. Chaturanga. Try to up dog breath in, and a down dog breath out. <sighs> Super sure. Okay, breathe in, right leg up. Breathe out, right foot forwards. I just have to change. There we go. Adjust your back foot for warrior two. Breathe in, come up. Whew. Have a little look, but like, yes, this is how I want to be. Push into the outside of the back foot. Bring your front knee over to the little toe side. Check that your ribs and your hips are in one line. Stretch back in time. Stretch forwards. And find yourself perfectly balanced in the present moment. Flip the front palm, breathe in. Shanti Virabhadrasana, peaceful warrior. And then breathe up, side angle, your version. Elbow to thigh, or you can bring the hand to the inside, or even to the outside. Wherever you are today is where you're meant to be. Lengthen the neck. And then open your heart up to the sky. Big breath in. Big breath out, come back into your warrior two. Reverse Jukhanasana, straighten the front leg. Breathe and reach up and back. And then trick an asana, breathe out, reach forwards, feel the space in the right body, and then come down, keep that space. Shoulder blades squeezing together, neck long, belly in. Look at the left thumb if it feels okay. Push into your left foot, so that's your back foot, big breath in. Squeeze your front leg, breath out. One more breath in. And then breath out, we reach everything up, good. Adjust your right foot so it mirrors your left. Breathe in, arms up. And then breathe out. We come forwards, not down. Uh-huh, I know. So you want your upper body to be parallel to the floor. Knack, yes, I've got a hip crack. Reach your hands forwards, thumbs point up. And now see if the thumbs can point out. Did you feel the rotation of the shoulders? Let's focus on that, not how difficult this is. Push your toes a little more into the floor, spread or flare the sit bones. Pull the belly to the spine, 
Make your back a little longer. Say, oh, it's so hard. Breathe out, hands to floor. Yeah, we made it. Start to bend into the left knee. Look at your right foot. And then reverse. Bend into the right knee. Look at the left foot. And again, this him und her, one way and the other way. Make this as fluid as you like. You can make your shoulders go a little bit around. Maybe the hips are more circling rather than just left and right. Whatever feels good for you, do it. Gently, gently making each of these side lunges a little bigger. Helping those hips to open. Mmm, session. Great. Okay, Skandasana left leg bent. Turn the right heel to the floor, the right toes to the sky. Left arm on the inside of your left leg. Left hand on the floor, right hand to sky. Breathe in. Breathe out, hands down. Come up a little bit so you can ground your right foot. Turn the left toes to the left and then cartwheel up, windmill up for warrior two. Nice. Have a little look. Just check the foundation. Heel to arch or heel to heel. Make sure that you're externally rotating your thighs, grounding the back foot. Reach backwards in space. Reach forwards in space. Find your center in the here and the now. Flip the front palm. Breathe in, reverse warrior, shanti, virabhadrasana. Breathe out your version, side angle. Whatever you did on side one, you do on side two. Feel the space in the pose. Oh, there's my coffee machine. One more breath in. Lengthen the neck, breath out. Breath in, come up, straighten both legs. And then reverse trikonasana. Reach into the left side body. Breathe out, trikonasana, reaching forward and then down. Be honest with yourself. How far down should your hand be? You don't want to be collapsing. You want openness in this pose. Shoulder blades together, neck super long. Look at the right fingers. One more breath in. And then breath out, use those muscles, we come back. Okay, adjust the back, or your front foot, sorry. Your left foot. I know there's two fronts at the moment. And then breathe in, let's come up. And then breathe out a little bend to the knees. And now bring your hands to hold each elbow. Reach up, breath in. Pull the elbows back, breath out. Pull the belly in, breath in. It's only going to be for three breaths, okay? You can make it come halfway down, breath out. Pull the elbows forwards, breath in. Come a little more onto the tiptoes. Flare the sit bones up and out. Keep pulling the belly in. Now focus on the shoulders. Reach them forwards, 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 forwards. And then next breath out, hands to floor. Yay, we did it. Okay, one time just bend into that left leg. And then Skandasana on the right side, breath out. Good. Right arm is on the inside of the right hand. From your right hand to the floor, left arm exactly the same up to the sky. Left toes are up, left leg super engaged. Open up, breath in. And then turn both hands, frame your right foot, come into a low lunge, breath out. Look forwards, breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Whew, making it. Proud of you guys. Let's ground for a moment, breath in. Out through your mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. And in the tiptoes, breath in. However you want to come to a seated position. You can jump through, you can walk through, you can just say, Jodie, what are you talking about? I'm going to sit down. Whatever you want to do, do that. Okay. So you've done quite a lot of core already, so this Mabasana is just going to be because I love, I love it so much. If you have a block, then please sit on the block. If you don't have a block, this is not a reason not to get one. <laughs> so the reason we sit on the block is to help that low back. Lean back, fingers to floor, bring the legs parallel. Yeah, too far back on the block, there we go. Great. Now lift up. Notice that it's a lot harder, but that lower back now is super engaged. Shoulder blades together. 
if of course you are not on the block, then any version of Navasana is a great one. Two more breaths here. Keep the upper body open, even as the legs are shaking. Breath is smooth, face is soft. One more. It's over, come down. If you're on the block, come off it. And then we start to lie back. Mm. Oh, how good is lying down? I know. <laughs> so from lying down, let's come to Sektu Bandhasana Bridge Pose. Bring your feet onto the floor, the knees pointing up. And then as we breathe in, so a little variations to help the shoulders today. Oh, sorry, I'll sit up while we do this because they want. So your arms are like a cactus, and when you roll up, you're going to hold the elbows above your head as your hips are in the sky, and then come down to cactus arms. Okay. Even if it's not, it's YouTube, so I can pretend that it is. Okay, so cactus arms, breathe and push your lower back into the floor, roll your hips up, hold opposite elbows above your head. Yeah. Breathe out, come down, cactus arms and hips to floor. Two more times. Breathe in, come up. See if you can hold your elbows the other way. Oh, that felt weird. Breathe out, come down. Last time, breathe in, hold your elbows, hips to the sky, and then breathe out. We come all the way down. Bring your hands by your hips. Session. Bring your knees into your chest, hug and roll a couple of times. Mm. Lovely. And then we roll up and down three times. On the fourth time, come to a cross leg seat. So, one, two, Try not to put the feet on the floor. Three, it's balance, I know. And four, cross your legs or in a seated position. Yes, I just face you. Breathe in, bring your arms all the way up. And then breathe out, bring your hands all the way to the floor. Ah, so nice. Relax your head, allow your body just to sway a little to the left and a little to the right. Come onto the knees. Come up, uncross the legs, and then bring the big toes to touch. We come down. Okay. Again, I'm just going to come a little more centered on my mat. You do not need to. This is just for your aesthetics. Okay. From here, we start doing um, spiral sweeps. So if you're in my classes a lot, you know what, where you're going. If not, then we go together. So. We sweep our hands over to the right side. Your right fingertips go to the floor. Your left arm sweeps over the face. Make a spiral. Lift the hips up. Left arm, left ear. As you breathe out, come down. Almost like child's pose. We go all the way over. And then left fingers close to the left foot. Right arm up and over. We spiral up and open. Yes. And we do this two or three more times. Close your eyes. It feels super nice. And work with your breath, feeling everything open, feeling yourself be soft yet strong. Feel your body, your mind, your breath all flowing together in harmony. Breathing in as you open yourself up, breathing out as you return to the earth. And when you've done three times each side, we can come back. Great. Okay. Keep your knees as they are. Bring your hands, fingers pointing forward. See where your big or your little toes are. Roughly there. New look. Shoulder blades together. And then baby camel. Lift up. If you want to come into full camel, now is your chance. We do this two times. Breathe that come down. And if you're coming into your full camel, then you can bring the knees up. Onto the heels, push yourself up. Whatever you're doing, do it with integrity, mindfulness. Coming back down. Last time, go for whichever version you like. No pinching in the low back, it's a sign you've gone too far. 
and coming back wherever you are. Great. Okay, bring your hips over to one side, swing your legs over to the front. And before we come to a forward fold, let's try to lengthen the spine. So first, we go in to move all the flesh away from the sit bones. So you feel more like you're sitting almost on the top of your legs. And you can feel how your back canal has that natural S in it. Feet are active, bring the toes a little more towards you, belly into spine. Breathe in, hands up, and then try to bring your right hand up to the sky more, and then your left. Two more times. One, two, two, one. Both hands up, breath in, belly into the spine, breath out, cactus arms. Breath in, breath out. Try to keep the cactus arms as you come forwards and then relax them down. Nice. Look at the toes, use your breath. We do three breaths in our forward fold. Breathe and lengthen the spine. Breath out, fold. Breath in, lengthen. Breath out, fold. Breath in, lengthen. Breath out, fold. Stay there for one breath. Out through the mouth. Slowly come all the way up, big breath in, reach. And then breathe up, bring the hands next to your hips. Bring the feet onto the floor and come into a, a tabletop. So that means your feet on the floor, your knees over the ankles and your hips up to the sky. And then breathe out, lower your hips exactly where they are. Roll yourself all the way down. Beautiful. Bring your knees up to the chest and then bring your feet up to the sky. Pull the toes towards you. Push your entire back on the floor, decompressing the spine. And then bring your arms, cactus or T position, however much room you have. One more breath in. And then as you breathe that left leg long, right knee into chest and give your right knee a nice big hug. Pull it in, breath in. And then as you breathe out, you bring that knee over to the left. Find your twist. One breath here, make it count. Super big, fill your entire body. And out. Bring yourself back in as you breathe in. Switch the bend in the legs as you breathe out. So the hands hold your left leg. Breath in. Try to make your legs go a little further away from each other. And then breath out. Left knee over to the right. Big breath in here. And out. Feel yourself soften on the exhale. Next breath in, bring that left knee into your chest. As you breathe out, right knee comes in also. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Bring your nose into the knees, congratulate your body. Say, hey buddy, you did so good. I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of us. We did it. One more breath in. Make your way to Shavasana, breath out. Feet wider than hips. Arms away from the body. Shoulder blades gently squeezing together. Tuck your tailbone a little bit. Soften your face, your jaw, your hands. Whatever thoughts come into your head as thoughts were. Instead of following the thought, instead of creating a story with the thought, just allow the thought to be all that it is, a thought. Let it come. And as you breathe out, let it go.
Exhale, your Shavasana for as long as feels right for you. Our time is done. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you want to subscribe, would mean the world to me. Like, comment, share. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.